Hey everyone, Late to the Party Cosmo here, and today I am back in Trailmakers to try and build a ship that cleans up the harbor from all of these floating logs. Well, actually I've already built the ship, but man, the journey there was pretty hectic. It took me a couple of days to perfect it, and I'm going to show you guys the steps that I went through. But first, I guess I should mention where this idea came from. Now, my dad watches my videos sometimes, and we were talking the other day, or I guess the other week, and he was like, hey, why don't you build something that, you know, cleans up the ocean, that, you know, essentially sucks things up and cleans up the ocean. And I was like, hey, not a bad bad idea. And then he sends me Mark Rober's video of uh, their ship that is basically like an autonomous garbage picker-upper. Um, it floats, it's got this boom that inflates and extends and it funnels garbage into a conveyor belt that goes into the ship and then it gets sorted and I guess, you know, taken off to a landfill and just constantly keeps doing its work. So it's really cool stuff. It's doing a lot of good uh, cleaning up the rivers and the areas where these machines are stationed. So I was like, man, this is really neat. I want to try to build something like that. So thank you, Dad, for the idea. Thank you, Mark Rober, for the inspiration. And well, I guess I'll show you guys my journey to build something like that. Now, obviously, we don't have any trash in high seas, but we do have all these logs floating. So that's exactly what I'm going to be picking up today. Now, let me show you guys what I started off with. Now, before I get to explaining this creation, guys, I guess it's important to mention that that autonomous trash-eating ship is actually part of Operation Team Seas. I know some of you may already know this, but for those who don't, uh, Operation Team Seas is basically a charity that extracts one pound of garbage from the oceans for every dollar donated. So I might even have a link on the side of this video to donate to Team Seas if you already haven't. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but hey, better late than never, right? And if I can drive some more traffic to the charity, then I'll be more than happy. So this was the first design that I kind of started working with, guys. As you can see, I have some sails over here and all they're really meant to do is I guess uh, have the same purpose that the long inflatable boom has on the trash eating robot ship. Now, obviously here we don't really have current, uh, which is, you know, consistent enough to push logs into uh, a boom like that. So I basically just have two sides covered with sails and they're going to be funneling my logs into my wheels here. Now, these wheels right here are meant to center the logs out, you know, make them straight, make them go in. And these wheels on pistons are meant to apply just light pressure to the log and basically try and push it up this ramp. So as you guys can see, my initial design basically tried to get these logs and ultimately try and get them to a point where they can be dumped into some kind of container. So let me show you how this worked, or rather, didn't work. <laughs> let me remember the controls as well, because I've since altered the controls on the final version, so hopefully I don't uh, mess this up. So as you can see, I've got my sails here, and if I press Q, they open up and they close. I can also uh, drop the sails just for less, uh, you know, less resistance, but not really necessary. So now if I back up, oh boy, this thing doesn't even have better steering like the other ones do. Jeez. So now if we turn around and we try to capture this log here, I'll show you guys what happens. I discovered a new method of propulsion in trail makers. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So we're going in, we can do this now. Go right in there. Now as you can see, those, those wheels are now straightening the log out. Perfect. And if I turn my wheels on, which for some reason they're not. Oh, there we go. Now they're turning on. See, now it's being pushed in. But look what's happening. The log got pushed in, but it's literally moving my whole boat. So for whatever reason, when the wheels are in contact with a loose object, they think that they're touching the ground, I guess, and they're moving the whole creation forward. It's really silly, and sometimes it does uh, some really weird stuff. Oh boy, oh boy. As you can see, it's actually working like decently well. Oh, it, it literally just knocked me on the head. So as you can see, that works decently well, but I do run into problems with further iterations where I try to complicate this thing to add other features. So let me show you again, or maybe rather we can go to the next iteration and I'll show you what happens uh, when I try and complicate things a little more. This was the version number two where I basically needed to get it up like further up, right? I even had a magnet here, or rather a tractor beam, that tried to assist with the motion of the log and pull it towards the tractor beam, but it just didn't work very well. It didn't really seem to want to do anything. 
So let's try this again with this uh, with this version rather, not iteration. Let's close that in. Perfect. Now the wheels actually work really well at guiding the the whole thing in. Oh boy. And uh, that 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 really isn't the issue. So now that we're sucking the thing in, <laughs> we turn into a magic carpet. Oh man, so this was the issue that I was battling the most on these versions, guys, where I was trying to use the wheels to suck uh, the logs in. It just, it ended up causing some weird black magic propulsion, completely unpredictable and uncontrollable. I tried using thrusters to counteract these forces and it was just, it was bad. It was really bad. So I don't, yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, my theory was that maybe the pistons have something to do with this because I've experienced weird gyroscopic effects when using pistons on my suspension to have adjustable ride height on land vehicles, but I don't know if that's what's actually causing it. I honestly feel like it's the wheels interacting with loose objects and they're only really programmed to interact with the ground, right? So when they're in contact with something, they're probably like, oh crap, we gotta move the whole creation forward, you know? And it totally makes sense, makes 100% sense. So obviously this, this didn't really work. I ended up flying in the air a lot. I ended up struggling quite a bit. And I think the next version, at this point, I forgot what the next version is. Let's check it out, right? And so at this point, I was like, okay, we can't use the wheels, right? We'll use the wheels to guide it in just a bit, and then we'll have this whole piston contraption that essentially pushes the log further up our static ramp angle here. So let me uh, let me actually rebuild myself here and show you guys how this worked out. As you can see, I started beefing up my my actual ship already. I started you know building it out of cooler blocks, kind of getting closer to the final version, but not really because even this was uh, was a little bit of a struggle, but still, let's uh, let's check it out. So we're gonna guide it in, and as you can see, we're not really lined up, but those sails really help with that, right? So we push it in, or at least we try to, and once again, the same nonsense happens. Now, if we can manage to get this thing in there, and hopefully I can show you guys. Oh boy, oh boy, whoo, whoo. Okay, okay, perfect. Awesome, see, it fixed itself, oh my gosh. So now I have to shimmy it like that. And at this point, things are kind of okay. Things aren't bad because I can pull it back like this. I can press my magic buttons like so, and I could pull it further back up and it eventually drops off. And I have to come up with another mechanism to basically store the lock, right? So at this point in the build, I'm like, okay, this isn't bad, but I'm still getting this crazy lifting off the ground effect that happens like four out of five times, right? Every time I try to show my girlfriend, it just wouldn't work and would completely fail. And I would get so frustrated because I'm like, listen, this worked when I was testing it on my own. Please believe me. <laughs> but anyway, after this, I believe I decided to swap out the pistons. Let's check. Haha, <laughs> no, silly me did not do that, but I'm only gonna quickly cover this version. So as you guys can see, I tried to use wheels in the back here as well to pull the log through when it was finally up on top of the ramp. Did not work. Same crazy effect that uh, basically happens when I try to suck in the log with the front wheels. But here, let me show you, cause it's really entertaining. <laughs> just, just, just fall through. Yes. Okay, perfect. So now, if I try to... Look at it. Look at it. It's still... This isn't me. The propellers aren't moving. Look, the propellers are static. They aren't moving. <laughs> this isn't me doing anything. So now, if I try and pull this thing through, uh, some funny stuff happens as well. I think? Ah, no, never mind. Sometimes it launches the whole creation forward. It's very unpredictable, guys. The physics at this point are extremely unpredictable. So let's actually go somewhere where we're not beached, and I will show you the next iteration, which is where I think I actually finally switched from the pistons, and it was like, hmm, maybe the pistons have some... Nope, nope, still pistons. But the pistons were definitely an issue, guys. I think I'll just skip to the last version before I actually you know, build the final ship and show you guys what I achieved. So as you can see, I switched out the pistons for suspension. And this suspension, I actually, for like the longest time, had it at stiffness zero and dampening zero, or rather damping zero. I have some thrusters that I try to counteract the crazy forces with, right? So that this thing wouldn't lift off. 
but it didn't really didn't really work that well it was still very unpredictable so you know and it's just a silly system to have i shouldn't have to have thrusters that are counteracting crazy physics right but once again i was trying to do something that the game wasn't meant for so i had to find a workaround with the suspension guys it was a lot better let me show you maybe this maybe this version can demonstrate but the final version will certainly demonstrate it better so now if we turn this nonsense on Come on. Okay, well, I guess we gotta straighten the log out. Oh boy, it's already doing crazy stuff with it. Please stop. Please stop. See, the suspension actually sucks it up nicely. Stop. Stop. That's not me going into the pier. <laughs> oh, jeez. So the suspension sucks it up pretty nicely. Look at that, right? Not too shabby at all if I do say so myself. And man, do I say so myself, because this thing has been a pain in the butt. But a good pain in the butt. It's, uh, you know, I managed to figure it out, so we're good. And you'll also notice that in the back I have a completely different mechanism now, which is supposed to, well, dump the whole log into a back section. Oh boy, chill out, calm down. We may not be able to do the short logs with this one. It's freaking out, it, it ain't having a good time. Okay, so maybe the small logs are gonna be a bit of a, a problem. Oh, no, there we go, sort of works. I think with the small logs, the small logs have to be collected uh, with long logs because the long logs will just push them through. So at this point in the whole creation, I was faced with a big issue, guys. It was still hit or miss whether I would pick up the logs and they would keep getting stuck on the ramp. And I was like, man, these things travel just fine on like horizontal surfaces. So what if I actually make my whole ramp tilt up and down? I can load a log up onto it, and then I can tilt it up and keep moving it along the whole process line, right? And thus came the final design, guys. Let's check it out. Boom, here we are. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I did have to use the complexity mod, guys. I did go 200 over simply due to mostly aesthetic reasons. I didn't really have to build this whole back section here, but I wanted it to look like a ship. So I went over the complexity limit. It's fine. This thing still works great. It's not actually detrimental to the performance of the creation. So we are good. Let's drop this thing into the water. Perfect. And let me show you how everything works. Actually, you know what? Let's restart the whole map because all the logs have kind of like drifted away. Good stuff. So the default position for this is basically like so, right? It looks like that. It, uh, it kind of, you know, trolls along and looks for logs to pick up. Let me just back up here. So as you can see, I've got a guide plate here, which guides the logs in. I switched to motorcycle wheels. They seem to work a little bit better. Now here I'm still using pistons because I do actually need them to, uh, you know, extend and potentially line the log up if it's not being lined up. Here, I switched the suspension to having a damping of two guys. I realized having no damping at all was making them like a loose noodle and making them act really weird and like rebound back on themselves and having the damping up to two actually makes a big difference. So I'm really happy with that. Now the major difference with the ramp here is that like I said, the ramp actually tilts down now and I'm gonna demonstrate that in a second here. Everything else is basically the same guys. There is one feature that I'm going to show you when the time comes. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to explain it right now. It'll be a bit of a surprise, so keep watching. And I guess, I guess let's try getting some logs now. I think we're ready guys. I think, I think it's time I show the people how this thing gets logs. I gotta tell you though, guys, this took me hours to perfect. And granted, I could have made some kind of claw that picks up the logs or even just a tractor beam, you know, much easier, but I really wanted to create a similar system that the autonomous trash eating ship has, you know, kind of guiding and eating the logs up and then storing them. But I guess let's just get into the action, guys. So in order to lift the ramp down, lift the ramp down, who says that? In order to lower the ramp down, we have to hide this whole mechanism over here, right? So that contracts fully, perfect. And then we can lower the ramp down. Excellent, look at that. And now, we can uh, we can go hunting for some logs. So let's let's just go to this one straight ahead. We're gonna extend our sails here out front. Perfect, because we gotta catch the logs, and uh, we're just gonna line up with one of them. I'm gonna turn on the engines, or rather the engine to turn on the wheels. Come on, line up here. Now, even if you don't perfectly line up, my uh, my handy dandy sails actually help quite a bit with that. Suck it in. Perfect. Look. Oh, oh, a little premature on that. 
a little premature on that, but it worked. <laughs> so we got the lock now, guys. Perfect. I need to extend this whole thing again because it's necessary to uh, capture the log into the next stage of the process. Uh, so now I pull all of this backwards. I drop that down and I keep pulling it backwards. Perfect. Oh boy. I feel like I didn't account for all of the log sizes. I thought I tested with all of them. <laughs> I think I know of a way to fix this, guys. Just a sec. I'm gonna quickly fix this up. Just a quick test. I uh, I extended the you know the actual hoop there. I put it on some pistons uh, to kind of accommodate for longer logs, and hopefully that will actually help. So let's give it a try. Perfect. Got that. And now, if I want to dump this whole thing. There you go. Just slips it right in. I did not expect... I swear, every time I tested it, the logs weren't that long. I don't know where this long log came from, guys. That's a heckin' long log. <laughs> we'll just need to try and get it to the side or something so we can dump another one. But basically, that's that's how this thing works. And now let's try and do it a little more seamlessly because I had to add that little piece there. Actually, you know what? I am going to paint it up because I want it to look legit. And then we can keep going. Oh man, we are like way out there. Let's go back in. <laughs> back into the harbor, guys. Dragging a log with us. No big deal. <laughs> I don't want to pick that one up, man. It's bumming me out. It set me up for failure, you know? My first demonstration to you guys, and it's... And it's, uh, and it's a really long one that I didn't realize I couldn't handle right off the bat. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. We caught one. Alrighty, and now we do our magic push. Excellent. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. And now we try and dump this whole thing. Excuse me. There we go. Per Another long one? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Getting all the long logs. <laughs> I mean, it's working really well, guys. I want to fill up the whole thing so I can show you the last, I guess, the last feature that I've been talking about. It's not, it's not letting me eat it. Let me eat you. There. I said, I said, let me eat you. The physics don't always cooperate still, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes turning the wheels off helps, but I don't know. I think that log just wanted to beach me, guys. Let's be real. All right. All right, logs. You win. Nice. Zoop. 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 Nice. Push that through. Come on. Perfect. Lock in on that. A little bit lower. And now we go. Zoop. Haha. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got one. We got one. Let's go get more. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Let me get more than one, please. I, it, th does this have something to do with me already having one in my cargo bay? Can you please just go inside? I really hope I get, don't, don't get copyrighted for that. I've been humming that quite a bit. Come on, man. Be cool, man. Just curious. I respawned. I want to see if it picks things up just fine now. All right, we got it. Let's get it in. Like, look, that works just fine. That works just fine on the first try. That's amazing. And now we just go, zoop. Nice. Perfect. Okay, got that one. Now let's try and get this one. This is actually cool to be able to, like, collect this stuff and store it. I really want to try and collect more than one, you know? I never actually tried to get more than one. And even my girlfriend brought that up when I was trying to show her. She's like, maybe it's got something to do with you already having one. And I'm like, yeah... I don't want to admit it, but that might be the reality of it. <laughs> so I guess let's uh, let's give it a try once more. Did I break something off here? Oh, what? How did I get there? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna dial in on this thing. Come on, come on. It does. It just doesn't want to do it. It just doesn't want to do it. It just doesn't want to do it. It just it just doesn't want to do it. Look at that. Look at that. It works perfect on the first time, guys. Every single time now. I got it to work so well except that it doesn't seem to want to do more than uh more than one so let's load this guy in yeah that should work perfect yeah that's one of the long ones again come on please just work please just let me load two i will be so so happy i'm happy regardless because i know this works guys and you can see that it works but the game is clearly limiting me in some way and uh, we're just gonna have to live with it i still think this is awesome all right let's eat it up come on <laughs> Uh, this could work so well if it wasn't doing that. I removed the wheels, okay? I removed the wheels except for one set that guides the uh, the logs in. 
And we are going to see if that helps me in any sort of way. Uh, hopefully it does. That'd be cool. I mean, maybe if we can pick up more than one that way, uh, that'll that'll be the way to do it. But, you know, we need to get off this one first. Hey, 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 let me get off. Okay, I got one long boy in there now. Perfect. Let's reset it all up. Let's see if we can get another one in there, guys. I'm coming for you, number two. Oh, it's in the glare now. <laughs> it's in the sun. Line up with this guy. Let's see if this guy wants to go in. You want to go in? <gasps> it went in. Guys, it was definitely the wheels. Something something to do with the wheels yet again. Okay, let's see how it deals with a short one, actually. We haven't tested that. Man, if I can get three in here, I'm going to be so happy. Funnel you in. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Ooh, that's a tough one, eh? The short ones might be tough, guys. I didn't really think about that. Uh, it's hard to get all of them. It's hard to get all of them. See, this is where the wheels would actually help. Try and push it further along. But I don't know if that's gonna... Don't know if that's gonna work the way I think it will. Well, you know what they say. When in doubt, get another log. It's <laughs> exactly what I plan on doing, guys. Perfect. Yes, come on. <gasps> I wonder if we'll push it through. Oh... Oh, are we gonna be able to get it in there now? I'm trying to get another big guy in there, but the other one's just hogging all the space. How rude. Oh, perfect. There we go. Now we got two in there. Awesome. Alrighty, let's get more. Nice. Captured another one. Perfect. Nice. Let's get this one in. This is gonna be great. Okay, and come on. Nice. Get in there. Get in there fully. Get in there fully. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. We got three now. This is awesome. This is just awesome, guys. No, I broke my thing. <laughs> Can we get one more in there? Please, please. That'd be so cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't freak out. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough, guys. That's enough. Basically, the idea is that once you collect enough of those logs, you gotta take them somewhere, right? You gotta take them to the docks, get unloaded, maybe they can be used to build some useful stuff. And really, you know, you don't need the whole ship to do that, you know? So what you can actually do is press shift and the whole thing disconnects and you can just zoom around in uh in your little ship with your logs in it <laughs> so that was a surprise feature guys i thought it was really cool because now you can essentially you know go somewhere uh you can beach this thing and uh you can unload it with a truck or a crane or whatever that was that was basically the original idea like so <laughs> now i could obviously add more features like a drop down ramp stuff like that but i think this is cool enough on its own it's probably one of my most favorite features just watching the thing come apart and uh, being able to scoot away just with the logs <laughs> i love it but yeah guys this is my high seas lumber collection ship <laughs> whatever you want to call it you know uh, i built it in the spirit of team seas and uh, i'm really happy with how it came out guys unfortunately i was wasn't able to do the mechanism how I originally wanted to simply because of how the wheels interact with loose objects in this game but it's not really a big deal you know I think it ended up working out quite well <laughs> look all the logs that I delivered they uh they dropped because I just despawned that's funny but yeah guys this thing works great I think if the wheels were you know actually functional in this application then it would work even better but it does work the first time perfectly it's just that the second time the physics start to uh, calculate more stuff i guess and it doesn't work out as well but i i really enjoy this nevertheless here let's uh let's grab another one just for just for outro's sake <laughs> of course they're all short why wouldn't they be right <laughs> but yeah guys definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below i'm really curious to hear what you thought about this this is my original design i had a lot of fun perfecting it had a lot of fun building it off camera it gave me the opportunity to really like you know perfect the mechanism and get it working as well as i could uh without you know spending too too much time on it uh but yeah please let me know what you thought in the comments down below love to hear what you guys think it's always a fun read and if you guys did enjoy the video please click the like button down below helps the video be seen by other people the algorithm does its magic if you guys aren't subscribed yet subscribe for more awesome trailer makers content and i will see you guys in the next video uh, this thing does uh this thing does circus tricks as well if you didn't know it can flip the lumber <laughs> uh, i'll see you guys later this was a lot of fun bye